We're staring at one of the greatest opportunities to make money online right now. Let me explain. We're living in a time where over 50% of the economy is still controlled by baby boomers. And what does that mean for us? It means thousands of businesses are still stuck with systems that they may have set up 20 plus years ago. No websites, no systems to book appointments, and no easy way to communicate with their customers and grow their online reputation. So that's where people like you and I come in. We help them upgrade their business with building what I like to call smart websites. Now these are websites that aren't just there for the looks. They actually work for the business by generating leads, booking appointments, requesting reviews, and even chatting with customers with AI. And the craziest part about it, to build these websites, it's a pretty low barrier of entry when it comes to experience in order to do this. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this yourself using a tool called High Level. Now, the software High Level is the same exact software that I've used to build my own online business. And just so you know, it's not a scam. Here's some screenshots of payments that I've received on Stripe. And what's so amazing about this software is you can white label it to be your own version so it has your own look and feel so you can establish your own brand and build a sustainable business online. So if you want to follow along and even copy my setup that I'm going to go over in this video, I've dropped a link down below in the description where you can sign up for high level yourself and receive a free trial. By using the link below to sign up, I give you access to all my automations, my templates, and everything else that I'm going to go over in this video. So you have a much quicker start than what I had when I first started my online business. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about how to load the snapshot into high level. And if you don't know what a snapshot is, this is what you're going to get when you sign up for the free trial with the link down below. Essentially what it does is it takes the sub accounts that I've built out with the different automations, the sites and everything else in between and gives you a copy of it so that again, you can get a much faster start. So you can think of this like a shortcut. Now, in order to load this in, it's going to be really simple. So what you're going to do is when you receive the link to the snapshot, you're going to go ahead and just open a tab and make sure that you are logged into your high level account. After that, you are going to come up here. You can open a new tab if you want and leave, you know, your tab that you're in for go high level. Um, but essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to paste that link into the URL. When you do this, you're going to see a little button that pops up and it's going to say, Hey, do you want to import this snapshot? You're going to click that to import the snapshot and then you're going to have it in your high level account once you're in there and you're building out your different sub accounts what you can go ahead and do is click into a sub account so i just have an example here this is called my master template and i'm going to go ahead and come up here to the top right and in the top right right here you'll see a button that says actions and then you'll see this right here that says load snapshot and then what you'll be able to do is see your imported snapshots and then you can take the snapshot that i've given you load it in and then you'll have access to everything when you're in the trial of the plan, you'll have some of the basic automations and different websites that I'm going to go over in this video today. And then once you convert to the paid plan, I will send over another snapshot that will give you access to my full training center and onboarding courses that I share out with my clients. Again, just to make it professional looking and also hopefully mitigate the work that you have to do when you're bringing on new clients. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the sub account and let's get started. So in order to build a smart website, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come down here to the bottom left and you're going to find the sites tab. Under the sites tab, you are going to see different templates that are going to be loaded in here um, that you can use yourself, or you can just create a new website. Now you can make these as complicated as you want. I'm a big fan of making them simple. This most complicated site that I have is this one right here with 17 pages in it. And sometimes I feel like this is a little even complicated for, for my standard in terms. But again, when you're thinking of business owners that you're doing this for, they probably have a lot of different uh, use cases. Maybe they want a customer testimonial page, a checkout page and a booking appointment page, uh, terms and condition page. You know, that's gonna be something that's necessary. Um, so you're gonna wanna have all those different things in there. But what's really cool about high level is is you're able to actually create templates based off of the business niche. So I'm just gonna give you a quick example of what this looks like. So up here in the top right, you can actually just click new website and you'll see here there's two different options. So you can do it from a blank template. Um, so this is just from scratch and it's a pretty standard website builder. If you've ever used Shopify or Wix, it's, it's very similar to that where it's drag and drop, but they also have thousands of templates that you can pick from as well. Now, what's really neat about this is when you're going out and you're outreaching to business owners, I'm going to drop some nuggets in here of how you can land your first client. And this is one of them because you have thousands of templates, depending on your niche, what you can do is you can have these templates ready to go so that when you're reaching out to business owners, you can give a little pitch to them and say something along the lines of, Hey, lawn care company, I actually built out a website for you. I noticed that your current website that you have is, is, you know, pretty basic. It doesn't have, you know, really anything for customers to go on to there and book appointments with you. Do you care if we schedule a 15 minute call and I can just show it to you? Because what you'll learn really quickly is business owners, they're getting hit up all the time. You know, they're getting sold to all the time. People don't like to be sold to, but when you're bringing value to them and you've already done some work on the front end and you're just saying, Hey, 
I've already built this out. It's going to solve a problem for you. Can I show it to you? They're going to be much more likely to actually give you a chance to meet with you and uh, be able to have you demonstrate that to them. And it's really easy on your end because then what you can do here is you can have your templates ready to go. And if you are servicing a specific niche, what you can go ahead and do is, you know, build out maybe a more robust, you know, template in that niche. And when you're first starting out, I think it's actually really good just to dial down on one niche. That's what I did. I did orthodontists um, when I first started out. And then as I was able to build out my systems and kind of just learn how to scale my business better, then I broadened uh, my outreach to other niches niches as well. So let's say you start with, with landscaping. You can pick any one of these templates right here. I'll go ahead and just select this one and hit continue. And boom, here you go. You have a nice website built out for a lawn care company. And what you can do is ahead of the call, you can go ahead and switch out their logos. You know, that will literally take you a minute and just maybe make a few tweaks here and there. So it's customized to them. But you'll see here that on these websites, there's different buttons like request a quote on some of the other templates. It might be book an appointment, book a consultation, whatever it might be. Now, business owners, they may not have a way to automate, you know, hey, someone clicked schedule an appointment. Let's make sure that a text message is going out to them right away. Or how are they getting notified, you know, that someone came in? Um, I'll talk to a lot of business owners and a lot of the times maybe they get like an email notification that a lead came in, but nothing else. It's like, okay, well, if they're out doing a lawn care project, you know, maybe they're hands-on, they're working with their crews. Guess what? They may not get to that till the end of the day. So what's going to happen? That person's going to keep looking. They're going to go to another business. And if that business gets them quicker, they could very likely potentially lose out on that lead. So a lot of the times what I would do when I first got started is I would just do a quick Google search and say, hey, show me lawn care companies, or again, in my case, orthodontists near me. And all these people at the top, I'm not going to target them because they're sponsored. Um, if you scroll past the sponsored posts, you know, you're going to see people with lots of reviews, all five stars, over 500 reviews. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the people that maybe be on page two, page three, um, that maybe aren't getting as uh, many people calling into their business as much as maybe, you know, the people that are on page one. I'm going to go ahead and explore their websites and then I'm going to give them a call, right? And the ones that I find where their websites may not have a text automation, an easy way to schedule an appointment, whatever it might be. Those are the people that I'm going to target so I can go solve a problem for them. All right, so let's go ahead and back out of that. And let's talk about automations now, because what's so amazing about high level is not only can you build websites, but this is an all in one tool for business owners to use to run their business. I mean, we're going to focus on smart websites in this video, but it can do so much more. Mm -hmm. But in smart websites, you know, you want to make sure that you have automations that are built out on the back end. So again, text messages can be sent out appointment reminders can be sent, so on and so forth. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump into automations right here. All right, sorry to barge in here, but I just wanted to let you know of something really fast. If you're loving this content and wanna dive deeper in how you can build your own online business, I've actually posted a full free course on how to do this on my YouTube channel. You can find the playlist, it's labeled how to build your own online SaaS business in 2025. In this course, I dive super deep on how to pick your niche, build out your services, and also land your first client by cold calling, sending out cold emails, cold social DMs, running paid ads, and everything else in between. We also just launched our free private community in school. I will also link that in the description down below. The first 500 members will be completely free to join. This will be a great opportunity to come join us, ask questions, and build a community where we can support each other as we're building our online businesses. You'll also find additional resources in the free community that I provide to you to give you a quicker start when you're building your business from the ground up. All right, and with that, let's jump back into the video. And when we're in here in automations, you're going to see all these different automations that are already built into here, or you can create your own workflow, but I'm just going to show you a quick example of what an automation will look like. So before you freak out and you're like, holy cow, this looks like a lot. Um, I promise it's uh, simpler than, than it looks. And I'll show you how you can actually build these on your own. But again, you'll receive this automation for yourself. Um, so you can have a head start. So let's say someone books an appointment and that appointment is on the back end these different automations and adding tags to the contacts, you know, if they respond yes or no to their appointment, you're going to have different, you know, options and what type of campaigns they're going to go to based off of how they're responding all the way to the point where, you know, they're either going to show up for the appointment or they're not, but then you have systems built out to get them back on the schedule right? A lot of business owners, they don't have something like this built out. Sorry, I zoomed out way far there. <laughs> Let me get back in here. Um, and it's really hurting their business because again, they're losing out on so many leads because 
the example I gave before, they're probably going to go to another business if they're not getting reached out to right away. Now, let me back out of this so you can see how you can actually create a workflow for yourself. I have other videos where I go way more in depth into this, but let me go ahead and click up here in the top right and I'll just do start from scratch and go high level makes it really easy. So what you do is you go ahead and you add a trigger and what a trigger is, is, Hey, what's going to make this automation start? And there's so many different triggers that are in here. You know, you have birthdays, contact tags, appointments booked, whatever it might be. Uh, it's going to be in here. Uh, lead form submitted right through Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. If you're running, uh, you know, more of a business around ads, you know, you can build triggers around that as well. It's it's all going to be in here. So for example, we can go ahead and type in booked and you'll see here right here, a trigger for customer booked appointment. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is you can either connect it to a calendar. So there's calendars built out and go high level that you can connect, uh, whether it's the business owner's calendar, you can build them on a new one if they don't really have a good system in order to do so or there's a few other options that you can use as well. I usually just do in calendar because that's the easiest way to do it. I like to have everything connected in high level itself. And then I'll go ahead and select the calendar that I want. So when someone books an appointment on this calendar through our website, we are going to trigger a few steps here. So the next part is maybe we want to immediately send them a text message. So we'll go ahead and do send SMS and you can just go, hello, you know, type in your message. Again, you don't need to see me do all that. And then maybe we wait. And if they don't respond to us, you know, in the next one hour, uh, maybe we go ahead and send them another SMS and say, hey, does that time work? Again, these aren't the best examples, but hopefully you get the point here of how easy it is to go ahead and build out these automations. It does take some time. It does take some practice. But again, you'll have templates loaded in here to get you a head start. Um, and then from there, you can go ahead, customize them and make them your own. All right. Now that we have that all done and figured out, maybe we want an easy way for customers to be able to chat in with the business owner. But guess what? The business owner is not going to always be available, but maybe they have a front desk person that can answer the chat. And even if they don't have a front desk person that can answer the chat, maybe we want to implement AI that can answer some basic questions and even book appointments for the business owner when they're away. So we're going to go ahead and come down to the bottom left here and go to AI agents. Now I've already built out a conversational agent that will be loaded into the snapshot as well. Obviously, depending on your niche that you're going to be going into, you might have to edit around a little bit, but I want to show you the power of this and what this looks like. So when you come into here, you can either create a new AI chat bot or you can click on the existing one. And this is for conversational AI agents. So these are for the little chat bubbles that pop up in the bottom right, typically on a website. So you can chat back and forth with a live agent, or in this case, it's AI. What's really cool about high level is you also can do voice AI agents. We're not going to cover that in this video, but it's a great way so that when people are calling inbound, say that no one's there to answer, you can actually build out an AI agent for the business to be able to handle questions and even book appointments for them. So let's go ahead and click into our AI agent, Carly. So when you come into here, you're going to see there's a lot of different channels that this AI agent can support. And I've selected a lot of different channels here, but you'll see here I have live chat, Instagram, Facebook chat widget, which is the SMS chat. And then also just SMS is coming in if they have a phone number set up through go high level, which I'll show how to do that in just a second. But what's so amazing about this is you'll see here, like it's, it's true. Like, yes, it really can handle conversations everywhere. And if you think about this as the business is setting up their social channels, their Google, my business page, their live chat on their website, they don't want to miss a lead no matter where it's coming from. And this AI chatbot can take care of every single different avenue that these leads might be coming in from. So once you go through, you're going to give the bot some training. You're going to put in some FAQs. You can also connect the website and the bot will take information from the different pages on the websites. You can talk about the bot goals, whether it's to book an appointment, to answer questions, both. And then over here on the right side, you can go ahead and test that bot. Now, once you're finished with that, it's super easy to connect. What you're going to do is you're going to come back down here to sites in the bottom left. And then once you're on sites in the top right, you're going to see where it says chat widget. When you add in your chat widget and you have an AI bot built in the background, it's automatically going to install that AI chat bot into the website that you select. So you'll see here, I have my chat bots here. I can go ahead and go to websites and let's go ahead and go to lawn care. So this is the example that we were using before. I'll go to settings and then you'll see here, I have my chat widget. So right now I don't have any chat widget selected, but I can go ahead and select the chat widget one. So that's the chat widget that is connected to my AI agent, Carly. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and hit save in the bottom right. And let's go ahead and preview our website now so you can see what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to the home page here and you'll see it's popping up a new page and boom, 
there's our AI agent right here in the bottom left, ready to take on a conversation. And I'm going to go ahead and you can chat back and forth with it, test it, break it, but there you go. So you'll see here in just a few minutes, we've been able to build out a website for a business owner. We've been able to connect an AI chatbot. We've been able to build out automations for this business owner so that when they book an appointment, they get appointment reminders, appointment confirmations. And also when leads come in, we're sending those leads text messages right away so that they, we don't miss out on them, right? And they're not gonna go to another business. So hopefully this is starting to paint a picture of the different problems that you can solve and the value that you can build for business owners when you're taking them this business offer of smart websites. Now, the last thing that I'll mention when it comes to building out these smart websites for business owners is high level is an amazing tool in order to build out a way for these business owners to build up their online reputation. If you remember before, when we were searching on Google, uh, we went to the first page and you saw there that the lawn care companies that were popping up first were the ones with the most reviews, the most positive reviews, and the most frequent reviews. So these are the different things that Google will look at when they're ranking different businesses against each other. And a lot of businesses don't have automations built out on the back end in order to make a consistent flow of these reviews come in. Now we won't dive super deep into this in this video as I have other videos that go over this, but you can go ahead and build out different templates, whether to send via email or via SMS. And um, the way that you get here is you scroll down here on the left side reputation, you go to settings, you can build these out. And then with those automations that I showed you before, at the end of those, Let's go ahead and connect a review request being sent. So after the appointment is completed, they immediately get an SMS to leave a review on Google, Facebook. You can even manually connect Yelp to this. Uh, people hate Yelp, but it's important because when you're searching on Apple Maps, it does connect to Yelp or whatever other reputation site there might be. There's, there's so many. But what's so neat about this is when they leave a positive review, it's gonna go straight to their Google account. And so as they are asking for these more, they're gonna be more consistent with these. They are organically going to be able to boost themselves up when people are searching for their type of business on Google. On the flip side, if someone leaves a bad review, what's gonna happen is those are gonna be filtered to the business owner so it doesn't post publicly online, but they're able to take care of that privately with the customer hopefully turn it around, give them a good experience, and then hopefully turn that into a positive review down the road. All right, and there you have it. Just a few more things to go over before we close out this video. What I love about this business model is it's sustainable, it builds reoccurring revenue, and it's also actually going out and solving problems for business owners. And when you're solving problems for people, they're gonna stay your client so much longer. But it also takes a lot of work to start a business. And so if you wanna surround yourself with a community of people that are also on the same journey as you, I've actually created a free community that you can join down below. In this community, I give access to my cold calling scripts, my emailing scripts to land new clients, and all also my pitch deck so that when you're going out and meeting with business owners, you know how to structure your call so you can actually close them and make them become a client. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're ready to get started with High Level, you can actually click the link in my description to start a free trial. All the automations and templates and everything else that I went over today will be available to you via a snapshot that you can load into your own account. So again, you can have a much quicker start than what I had in the beginning. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel because we're making videos every single week on different ways that you can make money online using high level. Thanks for watching and let's go build something awesome together.